boy is indeed the true apple eater, and is not to be questioned how he came by the fruit with which his pockets are filled. It belongs to him, and he may steal it if it cannot be had in any other way. His own juicy flesh craves the juicy flesh of the apple. Sap draws sap. His fruit-eating has little reference to the state of his appetite. Whether he be full of meat or empty of meat, he wants the apple just the same. Before meal or after meal, it never comes amiss. The farm boy munches apples all day long. He has nests of them in the haymow mellowing, to which he makes frequent visits. The apple is indeed the fruit of youth. As we grow old, we crave apples less. It is an ominous sign. When you are ashamed to be seen eating them on the street, when you can carry them in your pocket and your hand not constantly find its way to them, when your neighbor has apples and you have none, and you make no nocturnal visits to his orchard, when your lunch basket is without them and you can pass a winter's night by the fireside with no thought of the fruit at your elbow, then be assured 